I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about just a real basic procedure that a lot of people kind of take for granted and yet it's probably one of the most important things that you can do as a gardener and that is to plant a plant properly. You know, it sounds very simple but there are a lot of new techniques and kind of scientific principles behind it and a lot of times on my job I end up having to go out and diagnose what's wrong with a plant after it's died or it's in the process of dying and a lot of times, nine times out of ten, that you can almost go back to the actual day of planting that has caused the problem and this can be eight, ten years after planting so um, we want to get across some facts to you today so that you can help avoid some of those problems that are going to show up later. And one is when we have containerized plants and these are plants that are grown in containers, they can be these little plastic pots, they can be the little uh, two inch and four inch pots or the big 15 gallon pots. And uh, in the nursery process, we start out with a small, what the nurserymen call a liner. It's planted into a one gallon pot usually. That is grown up to where the plant fills this pot and if it's not sold right away, it'll be bumped up to a, a five gallon or if they need some five gallon sizes, they'll be moved to a five and as those begin to fill they're again sold as a five or they're bumped up again to maybe a 15 gallon and uh, so on and so on so if this plant is not planted properly the very first time that it's put in the pot and that can be again that little two inch pot these problems can show up for the life of the plant so one of the things we want to look at is the root system on a plant and when we take it out of the container uh, we can see here on the sides of the plant we can see the roots that are growing up the side of the pot. We have a little bit of a washout area here. This might be near a, a drain hole in the bottom. If you don't watch it, a lot of the soil will wash out of the, out of the mix. And you can see on the bottom we have a lot of roots on the bottom of the root ball. And uh, when we go to plant this plant, we do not want to take this plant and just put it in the ground exactly like this. So what we want is a plant that has some of the roots loosened on it. So we're going to go through and break this with my finger. Just kind of break some of the soil loose. If they're roots that feel like they're wrapping around, we want to break those or pull them loose like this so that they're sticking out around the sides. You can take a knife and just cut your way through here. You can see we got a, a root here that has uh, started the circle. We want to get rid of those because those roots, as they get larger in size, uh, will begin to girdle and squeeze on the other uh, roots in the mix. You can see this root here grew out and then hit the side of the pot and then grew straight down. We need to straighten out those kind of roots because they can cause problems later. So after we've kind of broken some of the soil loose from this plant, it can be planted and that way the roots are in contact with the native soil right away. If you get water on the plant quickly, those roots should take off into the native soil uh, real fine. Also what we want to do is make sure that the bottom of the plant is even with the soil level. So sometimes these get planted too deep in the pots, so we want to dig down and find where those first set of roots are coming off at and that is going to be the top of the soil level so that's where you want to plant it. Do not plant it in a basin. It needs to be even with the soil and then the extra soil you can make a little dike around it. So that's real important on containerized plants. This is the time of year that we want to do planting especially of our woody shrubs and tree material. Here we have a uh, fruit tree. Um, the swollen bulb shaped uh, part on it down here is where the tree was grafted. So the part down below is a different, it's still in the same family as the top part of the tree but it's a different type. So what we're doing is putting on the actual variety of tree that we want on the top. So it's budded or grafted right on at this point. When we plant the tree we do not want to cover this. We want to make sure that this part is planted we're going to dig down, find the first set of roots, and that's where we're going to plant the top of the soil ball, the root ball. So this part here will be above ground. That's fine. Um, as this tree begins to age and this fills out and this fills out, 
you will no longer see that. So that's real important. And a lot of our shade trees are grafted and budded trees, so we want to make sure that we do not hide those graft unions. We want to make sure that they are above the uh, soil level. So hopefully those tips will, will uh, get you started. Uh, next week we are going to talk about and show the procedure of actually how to put the plant in the ground. So, uh, but remember, this is a very important step, so don't, don't take it lightly. Thank you.